casual, casual, casual three orders from Plan Hannah because what would it be? I think I have like a gazillion more orders open because I have this thing where I just order whenever I need like one thing. So basically I have no chill at all. So let's just go ahead and start with the smallest order. What is all this stuff for? I'm not really sure. So you're going to be here with me figuring out all the things. So first things first is we have the journaling card. This is the dark arts art, Andrea the house elf. And then the freebie in this, we have my freebie in black foil. And then also this is the all orders freebie for September, August. So this is no longer the freebie, I don't think. So this is the uh, spooky freebie in hollow. I ordered Lorcana in font two unfoiled because obviously I've been playing a lot of Lorcana. And then also I did order these, which it's a long story, but I ordered them mostly because I wanted this one for the, um, what's it called? The breakfast club kit. And then I realized that the breakfast club kit has black 15 milliliter part washi and then I was like okay maybe I should order it in white so then I have this in black but I would have preferred it preferred it in silver but I didn't want to be annoying and even Hannah I told her the story and she's like I could just take it back and refoil it and I'm like nah I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on keeping on and go with the flow on this one so this was for the stepbrothers kit and then this one is for the um, breakfast club kit both already laid down then in my next order hee <laughs> hee hee I have um, the same journaling card and the same freebie in the all orders freebie in a really pretty hunter green. And then this is my freebie in unicorn, which is actually so cute. And then I just ordered some Lorcana um, icons. So I ordered these for some future spreads. The first one is in, I'm kind of congested if you hear me like, swallow hard uh pixie gold and then also matte bronze sparkly hollow light gold and rainbow and lavender hollow because again i'm playing lorcana a lot so i needed all those icons to go with my lorcana scripts and then last but not least, which I don't really don't remember why I ordered this, but we're going to find out, is the same freebie in the Pixie, which is like a starry rainbow, along with my freebie in matte bronze. And then the same journaling card. And I ordered two of the spooky cute foil bundles. For why? I I could not tell you. I'm flipping through my kits because I'm like, maybe it'll trigger something that I had going on in my brain, but I don't really remember. Um, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to use the Lavender Hollow one with the Trick or Treat. I was going to initially use Black Sparkly, which I may still bring in black. Or was I going to just put both of these with it and just, like, figure it out later? But I'm also, like, or was I going to... I don't know if I would want to use it two times in a row because I also have this. But I think my idea was maybe to do, like, some black, some... I don't really remember. I don't really remember what my idea was because I don't think I got black for this one. I don't know. Not that one. Not that one. I'm assuming that my idea was, because it's also black foiled. So I know that I wanted to use Lavender Hollow with this. And I think maybe I thought, I think I talked about it in a vlog. I think I thought maybe I'd use some of the black stuff. And that's why I got it in black foiled. If anybody remembers, let me know. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put these together seems like an odd choice but maybe I'll remember later but I don't remember what I'm gonna use with this one I have these like underlays maybe I was gonna use it with this honestly couldn't tell you but maybe I was just gonna do unfoiled with this I feel like Darcy are a lot of times leans like we need to do no foil 
Maybe I got the black because I was like, oh, I could use the bottom washi, but this isn't giving me like spooky cute. This is just giving me regular spooky vibes because I feel like spooky cute. What does the bottom washi look like anymore? I don't remember. The ghost? Yeah, I don't really think that's going to go with the Frankenstein one. I don't know what my plan is for this one then. I don't know. Y'all know I'm just like basically always a mess, but that is everything for this portion. We have another haul bit today, and it is some plan of Hannah orders. So this is my older one. Let's go ahead and get into it. I think I remember what everything's for, which is exciting. So first things first are the two freebies I have here. So this is the... Uh, September freebie, which is super cute. It is in Lavender Hollow. It just says, just a little ray of pitch black. Super cute. And then this one is my freebie. So if you use my code or put my name in the notes, if there's already a sale going on, you'll get this freebie as of right now. And this is in Ice Skating Orange. Which have I seen that? I don't even know. And this is just a random order of things that I needed. So first things first is I did need the black ratings for whenever i need to rate a movie or something along the lines of that love those and then i needed two scripts that i was missing in a spread so i went ahead and ordered a custom multi and i just did those two scripts and then ordered a sheet of stickers that i was running low on which is monument then i had that whole well actually i don't know if you've seen the predicament yet but i went ahead and reordered this and i did actually end up taking the that's all out so that it could be bigger because I had you're gonna kind of see some you're not gonna see these for a while but I had ordered this for here which would have been fine but I thought it would just look better in white again you're not gonna you're not going to have seen this yet it don't come out till like October or November yeah, I think the white on the black is better for this um here yeah I think that's much better than the black and I just got that in font too and then I asked for the bow on the bottom because I thought that's something universal that I could use in the future also while we're here I did need this Ravensburger for here and then the get cute was for here so cute and then for bottoms I was going to go ahead and put my little rating in there Go ahead and do that. I pulled up two because that's just the way I roll. Let's go ahead. Sorry if you hear like the garbage jug. It's just the way my life goes. I'm gonna stick that in. And then bottoms, I'm gonna rate a four and a half. So one. The black looks so nice. Definitely recommend. The stars are, I made them like when I designed the sheet. A little bit smaller than the inside so you don't have to line them up perfectly just as close as you can and then for the half there's enough stars that everything could be five stars but that would just be pointless of rating things if everything was rated five stars so we're gonna go ahead and cut the star in half can you hear the garbage truck it's like really like sounds like it's struggling four and a half stars how sinking cute you got to see those in action um so ordered all of that and then i ordered these for my halloween kit which i will i'm not halloween my thanksgiving kit which for thanksgiving i'm using this art by darcy which is called autumn dream and i'm gonna be using lavender hollow with it because i think it's just the right answer so i ordered plaid two from hannah and then i just had one of these marble which i haven't decided what i want to use with it but i just figured i might as well have the pair for some reason i only had one of them because i just sometimes order weird things so that was my first order my second order is a thicker one this is from the new releases and again my freebie this one is in a i don't know if it's like taupe or something and this one is in the color of the month which is like an oil slick and then i did get my um custom multi of this current week's um what's it called this current week's scripts 
And then I ordered a bunch of different things. So first things first is I ordered the Let's Go Party because these just came out in the like light blue color. I think it's light blue. And I want to use this color when I reuse the Barbie kit. And I probably will reuse it for a future birthday. So I went ahead and just got those as a reminder that that's what I want to do. And then I did get some stuff for the Akatar kit. Which is right here. And... I went ahead and picked up, um, I had this idea, I was like, Hannah, you need to do a, like, two foil setup so you can, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what the situation is here, okay. Yeah, a two foil setup so people could just, like, choose two foils and then, like, order it and it's kind of like a mixed metal setup. Because whatever she does, like, you could do a bundle and ask for two different colors, but I feel like it's just, like, all of the overlays are one color, all of the headers are one color, but I was like, it'd be cool if they were like, you know, half and half. So she obviously delivered. So this is, and then this has like the shine, which I've never gotten before, but it's super cute. And I want to do a mixed metal of the rose gold and pixie rose. And I think this is going to be so good with this kit. So the regular rose gold this one has the four overlays and the bow 15 millimeter which i might end up doing like a quote and then the um underlays and then half of the headers half of the icons half of the date numbers half of the scripts half of the whole reinforcers and half of the corners and then the other color which i did the pixie rose is the other set of underlays the other set of overlays, a different 15 millimeter strip, which I might use this one. And then, like I said, use a quote and get that later. And then the other set of icons, scripts, numbers, etc. You get the idea. And then also for the Akatar kit, which I think there's like a lot of foils you could use. I think this is going to be really fun. Um, I did get the overlays in the Pixie Rose, which I won't be using all of these obviously in this kit but i will probably throw them elsewhere because they're just so cute and these are like more thick bigger things so i did them in the sparkly and then i did the quotes in just regular rose gold because it's just easier to read them in regular rose gold so that was for that kit so i'll put all of that with that and then last but certainly not least for the catch em all bundle i went through all of my foils and I was like, this foil is literally perfect for this. The like purple is like almost an exact match. And then the like hollow colors throughout of like, they kind of like shine pink and stuff. Like you can, it's hard to see in camera. Like you can see maybe there. It's like the blues and the pinks and like a little bit of green. Like it's just perfect. So I have the underlays for those. It's the catch them all. And then I have the overlays, which I'll probably cut out and like place places. And then there is the um, bottom washer, which is really cute. I'll probably use both of those. Stuff there, icons, these things, the whole, the whole nine. So the only thing I'll probably add to this is I'll probably get a sheet of like the full boxes that are corners. But also I'm pretty sure... For this kit, which I'm using the purple ice skating rink. I don't know. I think it's called purple confetti, but I call it purple ice skating rink because that's what it looks like. Yeah, I have some of these and I also have them in this color and then I have other things. So if I have leftovers of these, maybe I won't order more and I'll just use the leftovers from this with this. But if not, I could always just order more of the purple confetti overlays and I think that will be super cute because I like using the confetti over like having a ton of these on here um but also I could give these to Bennett but like I might end up just doing like little maybe I'll do like Pikachu on Ash and then maybe like I don't know like if there's a specific one like Squirtle on this girl etc and then maybe like even doing one like Evie here and like the butterfly thing up here we'll like see how it goes we'll see how it goes but i think this is just really really cute and i'm very excited to use that and that is my haul okay let's get into some wax this is my pre-order from fantasy wax along with the casper collection so let's go ahead and get 
right on into it. I opened this box when I, I think I opened it in a vlog. And I was like, I thought I went like relatively like calm in this pre-order, but I guess not. But then I realized that the caster was in there. So thanks, Kristen. Um, so let's go ahead and go through the pre-order first. So I did pick up some scents in the like big chunky blocks. This is strawberry white cake, pink sugar, and zucchini bread. I just love this shape. It's so easy. It smells so good. I'm melting. I've been melting fantasy wax almost exclusively in my office recently, and the performance has been so good and lasted so long. Fresh bread, pretzel, sugar cookie royale. Oh my gosh. I need to melt this soon. I'm just, I'm going to like, I'm trying not to like, I'm trying to use up my old wax first, but like oh, some of these scents are just so good. Uh, apple strudel, zucchini bread, and glazed donuts from actually what I have now or like close to what I have now in. And it's so stinking good. The perfect fall apple scent, but also could be like Christmas apple. Delicious. Strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. Mm, so stinking good. You can't go wrong with strawberry, anything in zucchini bread. And pink sugar and tea and cakes. Another one of my favorite combos. Mmm, so such a good one. Such a, like a good also alternative to like a laundry scent. I also just love the aesthetic of this. I think I'm just like a chunky, chunky, what are they called? Chunky melt, chunky somethings gal. Then we have blackberry jam butter cookie sampler, which I'll probably keep in here and then just put like a sticker on the back. It smells so good in here. So this is a sampler. So I don't know what any of these are. So first things first is blackberry jam butter cookie and yellow cake. smells really good. It mostly just to me smells like blackberry jam butter cake cookies though. So this is and wildberry mousse and zucchini bread. This one's definitely more fruity which is really good. This one is and sugar corn pudding and sugar cookie royale. Definitely can smell the sugar corn pudding in this. They're all fantastic. Um, and ma marshmallow fireside. This is actually a surprising, like, love. This one's really good. And salted caramel and zucchini bread. Mm, this one's so good, too. Most of them have, like, a pretty heavy blackberry, blackberry jam butter cookie scent. But, I mean, I'm not mad about it. Brown sugar pound cake. This one actually smells more like brown sugar pound cake than the blackberry jam butter cookies. Still so good. Pretzel and pumpkin pecan waffles. Mm, this one's delicious. Ooh, pumpkin pecan waffles, so good with that. And then tea and cakes and waffle cone. A melting waffle cone from Rose Girls all over my house right now smells so good. Mm, this one's delicious. I love tea and cakes though, so I am a little biased on that, but I am obsessed with my pre-order. Also had an order freebie, I'm assuming, from the pre-order, which is cranberry zucchini bread. Honestly, not my favorite but it's one that I think probably smells better on warm. Then let's get into the Casper scents. So this was a fall release. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is Halloween Party, which is Mac, Apple, Pumpkin, Pecan, Waffles, and Leaves in a cute little bunt. Not, again, not here. I don't like Mac Apple. That's just where I'm at in life is I don't like Mac Apple very much. So there's that one. But it's, it's if you like Mac Apple, that's it. That's a good one. This is Whipstaff Manor, which is Cafe Vienna brown sugar and pretzel. Mmm. It's a really nice coffee scent. Nick doesn't like coffee, so it's hard for me to melt it, like, in common areas. But I would melt this in my office. It's so delicious. We love her. Then there's Can I Keep You, which is apple, cinnamon, pumpkin spice latte, and French baguette. Another coffee scent, but this one's smelling kind of heavier on the apple cinnamon, but I'll definitely melt that one in my office. Then there is Friendly Ghost, which is zucchini, pumpkin bread, and apple strudel. I got a time for fall. Fall here is like summer, though. And this one smells kind of like a craft store, but in the best way. Then there is Cracklin' Birch, pumpkin pecan waffles, and toasted mallow. This one smells like a Colony craft store. I get the cardigan reference though, because it does smell like an expensive fall cardigan. Super nice, definitely melt that in the living room. 
Lazarus, which is pumpkin pecan waffle, caramel, coffee, and brown sugar. Another coffee scent. This is definitely more the like artificial chocolatey creamy coffee. Kind of smell that pumpkin pecan waffles, but I kind of love it. And then Please Don't Scream, which is gourmet, sugar cookie, pretzel, and mellow fluff. Mmm, this one smells super buttery. Excited to try that one. I'm probably not that in my office. Dibs, which is snickerdoodle, cinnamon, sugar, and pretzel in this huge cake piece. Mmm. It smells super good. I love cinnamon sugar with the pretzel. Delicious. Probably gonna smell like an Annie Ann's up in here. Probably melt that one in the living room. Cat, which is French toast, mac apple, and cinnamon sugar donuts. Again, I don't really like mac apple, but let's smell her. These are so cute. And they come out like very easily. This one's definitely more toned down mac apple, so I probably would actually melt this in the living room. I think Nick would really like a mac apple scent going. So that one I like more than the other one. Dr. Harvey, which is apple cider donut and zucchini bread. Apple cider donut's an interesting one. Because it's like apple-y, but it almost smells like apple juice versus like a fresh apple. So I like that one. That'll be out in the living room. Casper, which is pumpkin spice and cinnamon rolls. This one, again, smells very craft store-y. I probably will melt this one in the laundry room. And then Three Uncles, which is maple, walnut, fudge, oatmeal cookies. Mmm. Maple, walnut, fudge. I like the smell of the maple, walnut, fudge on its own. It almost gives, it almost gives like, like an almond scent, but almost like an almond body care, but like a creamier vanilla-y version. Might might sound odd but it smells really good so that is everything from the casper Reese in my pre-order we got a fantasy wax haul let's go ahead and get into this thank you carson for giving this to me you're the best that there ever was so this is the plan and hannah collab which i have smelled all of these because person gave them to me to give to hannah but hannah wasn't going to be in town for the release so i did like smell them already and took pictures of them but i haven't smelled them in a little bit so let's go ahead and give you my first impressions obviously love kirsten love hannah so i was very excited about this collab i think most of the things are sold out so i'm sorry but if you want something to come back definitely request it when kirsten asks for requests so the first thing in here is kind of salty kind of sweet which is pretzel sugar cookie royale and buttercream frosting in a super cute waffle shape it's so good it's just like a really nice sweet pretzel scent very excited to melt that probably gonna keep all of this in a bag and melt it soon because i just melted through my collab and it was just an amazing experience every day like having like one scent of the collab to look forward to there's sleepy hollow which is hannah's favorite cri cri christmas halloween movie and that is pumpkin pecan waffles tea and cakes and fresh bread also, this is hand, kind of salty, kind of sweet. It smells so good. Mmm, I love the tea and cakes. It's what's really popping out at me. Yummy, yummy. This one's Elsa, which is her favorite princess. And that's vanilla buttercream, zucchini bread, and peppermint sticks. It smells really good. This one definitely gives me more um like winter vibes but i think whenever you mix like zucchini bread with mint it's just a really good situation to be in the next one here is munchlings which we just have an obsession with munchlings this is pie crust sugar waffle cone and vanilla butter fudge which literally sounds like a dream i think this was hannah's favorite scent from the collection i think she said and it is phenomenal the next one here is pink and sparkly which is strawberry pound cake Strawberry white cake and jelly donuts. Hannah loves everything pink and glittery. Mm. I like the jelly donut additive in here. Super yummy. The next one here is book lady. This is the only one I didn't really like. But Hannah is a book lady. Coffee, ice cream, zucchini bread, and library. I think the library scent's what's weird. It's very strange. It smells like a laundry room scent to me. And I haven't been melting in my laundry room but my um neighbors gotten super into melting and they like like more like fresh 
kind of more, um, like mature, not bakery scents. So I think I'm going to give this to them. I'll cut it up for them and give it to them because I think they're going to really like that and I want them to try some fantasy wax. Then there's Sisters, which is pistachio, almond cookies, and zucchini bread for Haley, who loves pistachio and almond. It smells so stinking good. It's, like, really heavy on the almond, and I love that. The next one's Game Night, which is Hannah's favorite day of the week after Girls' Night. And that is Monkey Bride, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Sugar Hippie Royale. So good. I'm, um, mm, 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 mm. It smells like a Sugar Cookie Royale cousin, and I just love Sugar Cookie Royale. Next one here is Feeling Bubbly which is her favorite McDonald's lid, and that's orange chiffon cake, lemon pound cake, and zucchini bread. Mm, this one's so fresh, so nice. I'm mostly smelling the lemon pound cake, which is perfect. There's something in my eyeball. And then there is Kahlua, which I'm pretty sure is probably an anime character. I don't know. Uh, Midsummer's Night Mahogany Teakwood. Oh, yeah, I didn't like this one either. This one's very cologne -y. Again, I'm also going to give this to my neighbors because then they could try something like laundry roomy and like powerful cologne scent so those are definitely going to go to them so that they could try out fantasy wax then there's santa i missy which is gingerbread sugar milk sugar cookie rail and balsam and cedar because hannah loves christmas kind of sounds like an expensive christmas candle if i could like put a like pin a nose on its pin a rose on its nose it smells to me like a really expensive Christmas candle, and I love it because I love Christmas. And the last one is called Birthday Beach, which is uh, Chinese almond cookies, which I actually do not like the scent of Chinese almond cookies. But I'm wondering, like, maybe this oil will be different. So I'm, I was like, oh, I could just give this to Hannah so she has an extra one. But I'm like, maybe I should try it again and see if I like it. But... I don't really like Chinese almond cookie, but again, maybe I just need to try it again. So I'm going to give this one a go. And like I said, I want my neighbors to try Fantasy Wax. So I'm going to give them these two since they told me that they're less into bakery and more into like, I don't know, like fancy scents, I guess. I, I just think bakery is like very fun and flirty and cute and sweet. And then those scents are very like mature, like you're a mature smelling person. So or sassy one or the other so these are gonna go to my neighbors and then I'm so excited to melt all of these but that is everything from fantasy wax also i always have a coupon code so i'll link down below love you bye